but fourth level, there's just, you have to be so much more precise and they hit really, really hard on submission. So Zeke sometimes has a tendency to grab a hold of the bit and just take me. He is massive. And so that's something we've been working with him for the past since I bought him, so two and a half-ish years. So it's gotten better, that's for sure, but he still has his moments. And I think I've kind of narrowed it down to where when he is, when he has those moments where he gets really, 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 really heavy and he just kind of hangs on my hand. Um, by the way, only horse I know that can grab a hold of a double bridle and take, like, like it's like it's nothing. So I don't use harsh bits by any means. And I know some people are like, oh, double bridles are harsh, but they're really not. Uh, most of the time you're riding off the snaffle rein. You don't really use a whole lot of the curb rein, but it's there if you need it. Um, because essentially, what the snaffle rein does is lifts their neck and the uh, curb rein lowers their neck. You know, it's there if you need it, but you know, by accident sometimes I end up shortening my curb, shortening my curb rein a little too much, but I usually notice it and fix it. But I mean, he's got very soft, soft bits. <laughs> But it's kind of a fine line because there's some times where he's just so light and like it's just, it's just butter in your hands. And then you'll feel like you have a bus dragging you down a hill. So this was uh, from our lesson last night. Somebody was extremely unhappy that he was taken on the trailer by himself to go somewhere. Um, he is super buddy sour and extremely attached to 10. So when we went to go trailer out to my lesson with Debbie, he was very unhappy with me. <laughs> he was great for about the first like 10, 15 minutes. And then after that, he was just like, I'm done. Screw this, like I'm done. So we ended up having an okay lesson, but it was, he was extremely strong. So I'm curious, I haven't ridden him in the double bridle much, but that's what I was planning on riding him in um, at the show this weekend, but I'm thinking he might actually try the snaffle. Um, he seems to like the bit on his snaffle better. And I'm trying to get a bit fitter to come out. There are not that many that are I don't think there's any that are local, so trying to find one that's willing to travel to St. Louis is going to be difficult, but um, I really want to have a bit fitter come out and just double check the fit of his bit and then also maybe try some different ones that she thinks, because essentially, you know, for the average person, I mean, we're just kind of thinking, okay, what's the issue that I'm having? You know, does the horse like the bit? Do they not like the bit? What is the next, um, like, is there something else I should try? So then essentially you go through this, like, I'll buy this one, try it, doesn't work, and then you're stuck with that bit and, and vice versa. So it's like this vicious cycle. And I just kind of want to have somebody come out and let us try a bunch of bits so that way I don't have to buy a bunch of them to try them and then lose a bunch of money because they're sitting there. So, I don't know, we'll see. But I do think that there is room for improvement in the comfor comfor comfortability. <laughs> there is room to improve in their comfort when it comes to the bits, I think. Um, tens, he has a, a disformed tongue from a tongue tie at the track that was like way too tight. So he's got this weird bulge in his tongue and he's got a little bit of a parrot mouth. I'm trying, I want to get somebody out just to, I, I primarily ride him bitless, 
but like for dressage, um, especially like with eventing, you obviously can't do fitless in a dressage test. So, yeah. Either way. Um, but anyway, now I'm just random rambling. The showgrounds is about an hour and a half away from our barn, so we're gonna be on the road for a little bit. I'm so freaking lazy. My, I want to say I'm lazy. I have not had my ADHD medication since June. So that's been kind of brutal because I have felt no motivation whatsoever. I've been exhausted. I've been basically, if you have ADHD, you understand. Um, I've been in like a severe paralysis is basically what they call it, the ADHD paralysis, where it's like you just can't get anything done like it is it is like the end of the world for it, what it feels like just like even getting up out of bed to brush your teeth like that it's it's bad and it's been bad so I've got a lot of um a lot of different um PTSD and trauma things I've been working through just from over the past year um I've been kind of put through the ringer career-wise so everything's better now I'm do we're, we're doing good but I still I was incredibly burnt out and it takes so long to get out of that it takes so long to get out of that um, that burnout feeling like it takes so long to heal from that um, not to mention anything else you have going on so I'm a little low energy today the weather looks like it's probably gonna rain which you know it's fine it's not a big deal but I'm uh, tired man so this is gonna be a long long weekend and I honestly like if I could get my money back I'd probably scratch just because I'm so tired, but oh well. No, it's good. I need to push myself. I need to like get out and and do the stuff I love to do. So okay, so we're about 15-ish minutes from the barn. I will see you guys when we get there so we can get everything packed up. We made it, but you're disgusting. I'm showing him everything. I've never been here before, um, so yeah, come on, we're gonna walk around, kiddo. Hi, man. We're gonna be outside, so hopefully it's not raining tomorrow, right, buddy? Boy soup. <laughs> so we. Beautiful rainy day. It's just drizzling though. It's not raining super hard, but I have to clean and condition my saddle. Come on, keto. Oh boy. I'm just gonna do a little like practice in your race. I've been in here before. I'd rather it be like this while we're practicing instead of <laughs> tomorrow with the show. Peppermans for the best boy. Oh, hold on a minute. I know. Can you smile? Smile. Oh, you got a booger hanging out. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to get it out of the wrapper. There you go. This is another smile. Oh, there's a good smile. Oh, there's a good smile. He's a good man. One more. One more smile. One more big smile. Come on. Big smile. Oh, he's cute. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah, you are yeah, your little boy. <gasps> you, look at your snotty nose. I say it's allergy season for you. You got allergies, right? Yeah. 
Good man. Yeah, you yeah, your little boy. You, you look at your snotty nose. I say it's allergy season for you. You got allergies, right? Yeah. Good man. Are you gonna finish your dinner that you spilled? You done to finish your dinner you spilled? Okay, good job cleaning that up, huh? So I left Zeke's bag of grain at home. Thankfully they had already prepped his dinner time feed. And um, so he ate dinner, but I have I was going to stop by the Orschlands up here because there was one about five minutes away. They don't carry Triple Crown Senior or Purina Outlast. So that sucks. And they didn't have Ulcer Guard. Like I had two tubes, but I won't have one for Sunday morning. So I'm like, I need to get Outlast, Triple Crown Senior, and Ulcer Guard. But so I'm going to have to find a place to stop on the way home. It's about an hour and 15 minutes back home. It's 7.04, so places are probably already going to be closed. So I'll probably have to pick it up in the morning once they open. But he's got a crap ton of hay in there. So he will still have hay left over tomorrow morning. So he can wait a little bit longer for grain. Because I didn't want to like switch his grain. Because all they had was Neutrina. So they didn't want to switch his grain. Or I didn't want to switch his grain. Especially at a horse show. Because I wouldn't keep him on it. So... At least he was great. Good morning. Day two. First day of the horse show. Ooh. It is a little after seven. Um, I could not find the grain I needed last night, so I'm stopping this morning on the way out to the showgrounds. I gotta go to a tractor supply. amazing last night. Um, he was so calm, just like so quiet in the bridle, so soft. I mean, he was a little on the lazy side, which mm, yes and no. Um, I like it in the sense of like, he wasn't worried about anything, so he felt super relaxed, but when he feels super relaxed, he gets kind of lazy. So, but I would much rather have on my tests them say needs more instead of me getting knocked down on submission because he's too like, and then he blows out the front and then he's like, you know, up and down with the, with the contact and whatnot. So he was very quiet, which was, which was really good. So hopefully today goes well. I am so excited to be showing. So excited. I would love to be able to get both my fourth level scores this weekend, but this is the first time we're walking into the ring doing fourth level. So, and I don't know that you ever really feel prepared. I don't know. Do you guys ever feel like you're ready like to go in the ring or do you just kind of go in and wing it like I do <laughs> I mean I've practiced this test so many times so, like I know my tests we know the movements and stuff like that but I don't know I feel like I never have a sense of like preparedness <laughs> if that makes sense I don't know I love horse shows though they're so much fun I'm finally glad that I can take them to some. <sighs> so, tractor supply, get feed, go feed him, get my stuff all settled. Um, I need to give him a bath, and then I gotta braid him. It was too, it was raining yesterday and it was too chilly. It's 60 degrees right now, but it'll warm up. So I think by the time late morning,
morning, early afternoon rolls around, I think we'll be, I think we'll, we'll have some warm weather. And it's sunny. There's like no clouds in the sky, so. But I brought his cooler just in case. Fingers crossed. Alright, see you once we get to the showgrounds. Did we get y'all braided? We gave you a half bath. Got all the mud off and washed his legs and his tail. So. Say yeah, hi. Oh, you're so cute. I feel good. All right, let's see your braids. Let's see how you look. <gasps> wow! So handsome! That's why I'm just walking. Future Kelsey, current Kelsey, here. So, <clears throat> I don't have the test in front of me, but I think we got like a 63 something, 63 and some change, or 62 and some change, I don't remember. All I know is we got over 60. So, halt, me. It was good. And then I didn't think it was Sorry, good. Else. So then I tried to move him up and then it got worse. So that was my fault. Up into the corner. I was so happy with this. So basically across the diagonal, you do a medium trot and then six to seven steps of collected trot over X. And then back into the medium trot and then back to your collected trot once you get to the last letter there. Which I'm blind, I can't see. So then you do half pass from, I think that's K, K to X and then half pass left from X to H. They're so much better. I mean, we still need a little bit more bend in the rib cage and a little bit more softness in the jaw, but otherwise, I mean, so much better. I was so happy with his extended trot. I didn't push, so it wasn't as big as it normally is, but he didn't take me and grab the bit and go, so very happy there so then you go into a shoulder in and then at b or e whichever it is i don't remember you come across and then you go back to the shoulder in from e to h this is his harder side his harder shoulder in is, is that side and then you're supposed to walk at c and he did and i that was a, a total, that was my fault. <clears throat> so then coming into the walk pirouettes, I don't know why I like basically did the walk pirouette <laughs> in the middle of the ring <laughs> because you're supposed to go over to eight, but you know, whatever. And then he was like, no, oh, I'm going to canter and spin. <laughs> no big deal. He does that sometimes. Only in tests. He doesn't, he doesn't ever do it when we're schooling. So I must be doing something weird to make him do that. And then we go into our extended walk. Oh, it was so good. Look at him. Look at that tail swinging from side to side. Oh, he's so good. He's such a good boy. I love him so much and he's so handsome. So then we pick up the right lead canner down here at is that F? I think that's F. And then come up straight to 
to D and then into your half pass to B. And then he's like, oh, I'm going to change. And I was like, no, 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 you wait. And then we do the flying change here at M. And then you come through and do a 20 meter circle and you do very collected canter between the quarter lines, which this is his harder lead. So it looks a little wonky, but it was pretty dang good, I think, <clears throat> for him. And then we come down into an extended canter and I half halted him just a little too hard because I was expecting him to take me down and so we trotted right here so I pushed him back up into the canter which caught us wide which then threw off this entire movement of the half pass and I didn't want to like make him fired up even more so I just kind of I, I kind of played it safe there and then down to our extended canter, down the bright lead, which is his better lead, and then back in the corner. He did that so good. Look at him. And then we go into our series changes. So flying change at the quarter line, which was good. Flying change at X, which he was late behind to. It's normal. And then flying change at the quarter line there, which was clean. So I'm I'm very happy with, with those changes. And then, whoops, spooked. I think the speaker had feedback from where they were getting ready to do, because uh, the girl after me was doing a freestyle. So I think they were getting that set up and that scared the crap out of him. <laughs> and then into our halt. And there we go. One score knocked off for our silver medal. Oh, he's so good. He said that feels really nice. Aww. He says, I love my ears rubbed. <laughs> I'm like, I can't even see his head anymore. <laughs> I, seriously, he's, I've never seen a horse love their face rubbed so much. <laughs> oh, he loves his face rubbed. <laughs> he will. Can't have a whip in mm -hmm. trail obstacle. My had one. And, uh. Oh, sorry, Elizabeth. You know, you're fine. I got allergies too, homeboy. <laughs> Come on, yawn again. Boy. Oh, good job. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> so, what are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Okay, yeah, I wanted to take him out for one last hand walk and some great thing. Get you out one last time before she went home. Yeah, you were so good today. I'm so proud of you. Your neck looks so skinny from here. Here, you want some grass? What are you doing? Yeah, this is happening. Are you judging me? Are you judging me for playing in your stall? Well, you're farting right now, so. Oh no, you're pooping right now. Sorry. All right, day one of the show is over. Zeke was incredible. Like, that was probably one of the best tests that we put down. And it's just so crazy to me that we moved out this year. He hasn't been to a show since September. And we moved out this year. And he's still got a 63, even with some errors in our test. Not like errors like where we went off course or off like the pattern or whatever. But we had a moment on the left lead extended canner into the corner where he broke to the trot. I was expecting him to be quite a bit stronger because the extended movements on a straight line, he tends to grab the bit and take me. 
However, I was, I overdid it because that's kind of what I was expecting because that's just his go-to and the arena was kind of <laughs> uneven to where like going towards A was downhill. So all of the extended movements were going downhill. So I over did it on bringing him back. So I did quite a bit of a stronger half halt than probably normally would have done. So he broke to the trot, which it is what it is. Now, now I know for tomorrow. Um, and then our left half passed because of that, because then he got really nervous and like charged into the canter and like really was not listening to me through the, like he didn't come back because he was like anxious. So he didn't, his anxiety didn't come back down until after the change, which was late behind too. He's usually late behind on the left to right change. Um, and then my walk pirouette, I should have gone for the left walk pirouette. I should have gone closer to his age, but I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. I was watching it back on the video and I was like, what, what did you even do? <laughs> so I don't know what happened there, but my brain just went. And then something else happened. I can't remember. Oh, we had one spook towards the end, um, right at C. I think the speaker that they were using for freestyles had some feedback or something, and so it spooked him. But he came back right away. Like, he didn't, like, take off and, like, have this whole dramatic meltdown like he normally does. He spooked and then came back and finished our test, and it was great. So, I don't know my test in front of me, but we got a 63 and some change. And I 100% was not expecting to get any scores towards my silver medal this weekend. Mainly because one, he just finished his EPM treatment. Two, we haven't shown since September. And three, this is a place we've never been to before. Four, the arena footing was... Mm -mm. And five, the arena was uneven. <laughs> So I was fully expecting, like, I mean, had he been a total terror, I, I wouldn't have held it against him because of, like, all of those things. But that was the best test he's ever done. Like, he was so quiet in the bridal. He wasn't pulling against me. Only when he had that moment of the half pass or whatever, he, like, he was just so good. It's, it, it just it honestly blew my mind. Honestly, it just blew my mind. So we've got one score towards our silver. Maybe tomorrow we can get the second one since it's a different judge, but we'll see. I just know that I had a ton of fun today on him and he seemed like he had a lot of fun. He had a massage this evening, which was unexpected. We didn't have that plan. She was doing another horse in the barn. And I'm like, do you have time for another one? And she was like, sure, I had one cancel. And I'm like, wonderful. Because, um, yeah, you're going to do it. <laughs> so that was super nice that he was able to get a little massage. And it wasn't like a deep tissue massage or anything like that. It was just very light pressure because, she, like, obviously neither of us wanted him to be sore tomorrow. So, yeah, it was a really good day. It was in the 70s, like, low 70s all day, not a cloud in the sky. It was honestly the most perfect weather today. And tomorrow's gonna be a little warmer, but like still absolutely beautiful. So it was a great first show to go to. And I'm very, very pleased. I'm so proud of him. I'm proud of myself. I got a seven on rider position and um, rider position or whatever on that they score you on on the tests which I've never gotten before so that was really exciting um, I've been like riding dressage now for 
less than three years. It'll be three years in August. Like actually riding dressage, um, not just like going with 10 and doing an intro or training level test, like actually riding dressage for less than three years. So the fact that I've gotten my bronze medal and hopefully after tomorrow I'll be halfway to my silver, like is just, I could not have done it without one, my trainer Debbie, and two, the body workers, vets, farriers, everybody that works on my horses, and then on top of that, just my horses in general. Like, they're not push button horses. Like, you have to actually ride, and so they have taught me so much in such a short amount of time that. I just could not be more grateful because if I was just on like a push button horse, like, yes, you learn, but like you don't learn as much as you do when you actually have to ride them and put them together. And it just, I'm just so beyond grateful. I'm like so emotional today. Oh, it seems so good. Like when I walked out of that ring, I didn't even give a crap what my score was going to be. He was so phenomenal. I just, obviously I was hoping I'd get over a 60. I mean, because, you know, who wouldn't? Like, I was, like, really, really, really hoping. But if I didn't, I wouldn't have been upset at all in the slightest. Because regardless of the air, like, the mishaps we had in the test, like, I went out there, I did the best I could, and he was just great. I had so much fun. I was smiling and laughing, leaving the ring, and it just, he's a good boy. So, I stayed, I want to say pretty late, but it's 7.15 right now. Um, I'll be home in about 25 minutes. The showgrounds are about an hour and a half from my house, so I stayed, I mean, most people were gone at like four. So I stayed to, I was planning on staying anyway, so that way I could feed him a little bit later and um, then the massage happened, so I stayed even later. So that way he could get that done and then I wanted to make sure I got him out of his stall again and walked him around and let him graze and stuff. So I did that for about an hour and then left. So I was the, I was the last one there. There was nobody really else there. It was just nice. It's, it's, it's been a great day. So, going home, get up tomorrow, do it all over again, and then take him back home. So, I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning, and I bet you with bags under my eyes, but a smile. What are you doing? Do you want breakfast? Day two. Looking so handsome. A little dirty, but that's okay. We'll king you up. All right, I want it on video, so um, repeat everything you just said, Debbie. I can't repeat it. Look her in the eyes and promise her. I did. Debbie, this is the test. He's like, please, for the love of God, ignore your mother. Listen to Debbie. Okay. You got it? He's like, Mm. You do not have a medical condition. <laughs> I do. You this... don't. I have ring stroke. <laughs> <laughs> no going rogue. <laughs> if, if you panic, drop the ring and let him listen to me. <laughs> this is how this is going to go, right? Oh, my. That's my trainer and that's Betsy. She's, Betsy's amazing. And her horse is like a mini Zeke. <clears throat> All right. So day two. Fourth level one test coming down the center line. I really liked our canner coming down. And look at that halt. Chef's kiss. Mm. And then into our collected trot. <clears throat> he had a little head wagging here. I was trying to get him to let go of that right rein. That's his, his hard rein is the right rein. He tends to grab a hold of that quite a bit. Into our medium back into our super collected trot back up into our medium 
and then into the half pass so into this corner here really trying to get that bend set up and we got a lot more angle but you can see where he's just really not wanting to let go of that right rein and he kind of had that head twisting and tilting a little bit this half pass is harder for him compared to the day before look oh wait no just kidding so his favorite movement, he got just too excited and went into his canner. So I just brought him back and was like, nope, we're going into our extended trot. So the fact that he can make these mistakes or I can make these mistakes or we can have these miscommunications and then just go into the next movement really makes me happy. And then into our shoulder in, much better. Still real hard with him on that right hind to push off. So you can kind of see how how he wavers a little bit. But in this one, it's harder because he does not want to let go of that right rein. So <clears throat> still a lot of things to work on. But here we go. Now look, I walked it. See, <laughs> I did so good. I did so good. And then into our walk pirouettes. Truthfully, I don't remember what happened with our walk pirouettes. I think he cantered both of them. <laughs> oh, yep, that's what that was. And then he's like, boop! <laughs> Canter pirouette. No, we're walk pirouette. I think he was just, like, over it. He was just like, I'm done. <laughs> he was like, screw this, I'm done. Mom, I'm over it. And I'm like, no, nah, we're almost done. Just just chill out here look we get to take a little break now we get we get to do our little extended walk and there he goes <laughs> do 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 oh, look at his little booty it's so cute yeah he was just way more agitated today i think he again i just i think he was so over it he's like this is dumb i don't want to do this anymore and then into our half or er, right lead canner right at f nice transition there into our half pass so going straight and then bloop, all the way up to b and then we wait 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 change <laughs> he didn't try and uh take me in that change that time which was really really nice and then this was totally my fault. I couldn't really, I couldn't get him to not dive with his left shoulder in that like really collected canter. So yeah, um, we didn't really do a 20 meter circle. And then whee, something spooked him. I don't know. He took off and I had to check him pretty hard there because I was like, we are getting so close to the end of the ring and you're gonna like jump out so and then he wouldn't pick up his left can left lead canner again so then we come back up and then into our half pass which is significantly better this direction than the day before and i actually got to sh almost show a little bit of the counter canner because <laughs> he tried to like, anticipate the change and then he you can see where he changed with that front lead because he didn't wait for me and then he got pissed he just likes to take over. He ne he needs to let go of control. He's a control freak. He just, you know, he's a very type A. Like, he just he just needs to chill out and take a breather, man. He, need, he needs a little, uh, a little, little, little grass. He needs some grass. And then into our series changes. So, late behind one there, which is normally not the case, but no big deal. Late behind two, and then this last one was clean. And then we're almost done. And then he breaks to the trot there. I think he, he was just running out of gas. <laughs> so I just was like, you know what, whatever, because you have to go from the collected canner to the collected trot at H. But he was just tired. And I, I, he didn't have anything left. So and then we come down the center line and halt at G. And he was still a good boy. Look at his little haul. He's so good. He's so good. Hi, handsome. Bless you. 
He's like, this is interesting. <laughs> Hi, handsome. Hi, buddy. Look at the ribbon. He says, so all oh, that stuff's good. Is that yummy? Can you thank Debbie for giving that to you? <laughs> She's so nice to share oh, that with you. I appreciate him being such a good lover last night. Oh. All right, fourth level. First fourth level, USDF. Show done. He was not as um, submissive as he was yesterday, but I was riding him in more like what I would expect out of like a pre-St. George test. When he was being super soft, I gave my reins to him and kind of let him have that freedom. When he took a hold of the bit and tried to take me, I gave him a very strong half halt and he did not like that. That pissed him off a whole lot. But he knows what he's supposed to do, but he still tries to take over. Basically, he thinks he knows what I'm gonna ask before I ask it. So he anticipates and he grabs a hold of the bit and tries to take me and do it himself. But he needs to learn that he needs to wait for me. And granted, in his defense, obviously I'm still learning, but I've progressed a lot in the past year. And even in just the past couple Would months. Would you like to run the vehicle health report? No, Press yes to run. No. Or no to be reminded. I don't want to run one. Anyway. Um, and Ed, he has as well. But if we want to do pre-St. George, he has to be able to wait and let me ride him. And wait until I ask him to do something instead of just taking it and trying to go. And that's what happened today. But while we did get a lower score, we still got a 60, almost a 61. But my rider seat and position, or rider, whatever the part went up. So she actually did comment and say that good, correct riding, which I've never gotten that on a test before. And I am so beyond proud of myself because like she could clearly see that I was trying to make the, the correct corrections <laughs> and not just let him go. And again, in his defense, second defense, the arena was going downhill, but he needs to learn to wait for me instead of trying to take over. So, I'm glad I got the one score out of the way and had this been a different judge, I would have gotten both of my fourth level scores and been, I wanna say been done with fourth level because I'll still probably show fourth level um, just because I don't think we're quite ready for pre-St. George. He has all the movements, but the submission needs to get so much better. So I think probably the next show that we'll go to, we'll probably try fourth level three and see how that goes because the fourth level three test is actually a little bit harder than the pre-St. George test, with the exception of all like the series changes and stuff, which once he really like begins to understand, like I'm gonna let go after I half halt and like let him go, which has been a big trust issue for him. Um, not just because of me, but because of his past. It seems like he had a lot of riders on him that wouldn't let go. So they would just hang on him for balance. And that's kind of what he got used to. Sorry, I need to make sure my exit wasn't like right now. Um, but anyway, that's what he got used to. So that's, that's truthfully in this two plus years I've had him, that is what we've been working on. But it has taken almost but two and a half years. I got him in November. So yeah, so two and a half years. It's taken two and a half years to get him to where he is for the most part obedient. And I hate saying obedient and submissive because like it needs to be a partnership, but how they 
describe it in a test. I mean, that's just the best word for it. Um, there, cer there were certain movements that we did that were just not, oh, my phone overheated. Um, and I tried to watch the video back to be like, what was I talking about? And I think what I was talking about was that there were certain movements that were just not submissive. <laughs> Where he was fighting me, if that makes sense. So, all in all though, he has come leaps and bounds in the past, even just six months. And yes, we've treated him for EPM, so that has made a huge difference. And there's still like certain remembered things that I think he is remembering <laughs> that maybe he couldn't quite do right. I don't know. I, but the more we practice now that he's healed, because he'll never, uh, he'll never be 100% healed from EPM. Like, it's always going to be a maintenance thing. He's going to have to be on certain medications and stuff, and we'll probably have to treat him again at some point. But I'm very proud of how he handled himself this weekend. And today, I think he was pretty tired, which... You know, it is what it is. Like, I, I don't blame him on, on that aspect. And I wouldn't say I punished him today in the test, but I was just more uh, adamant about what I expected. And I think he was kind of like, mom, mom, doesn't, mom doesn't expect much out of us. <laughs> so I think it was a little bit of a shock to him because he was just like, she's right. She's, she's riding. She normally doesn't ride. I think the biggest aha moment for me was the half passes this weekend. I was bringing my leg way too far back. Way too far back. And while sometimes green horses may need that, Zeke isn't green. He knows what he needs to do. So in the way that I was asking was making it harder for me, but then also making it harder for him. So we kind of worked the kinks out on that this weekend. And it was like, honestly, even if I didn't get any, even if I had like the worst tests ever, it was like that light bulb moment. And Riding dressage is all about getting those light bulb moments. I mean, the same with any any discipline, but like that's where the progress happens. And I feel like we made a significant amount of progress this weekend. And I'm so proud. I am so proud of him. And I'm proud of myself. Like, I feel like I rode really well. Um, and normally, I don't ever feel like that. And like my first thing after I got out of that test, when I came back after I like uh, untacked him and I gave him, uh, rubbed him down with liniment and water and I came back out to let him graze to watch one of the other girls tests that um, is with us. And Debbie was like, I'm proud of you. You wrote that extremely well. And I was like, wait, really? Cause I was just coming out here to ask you to see if like, you, you knew what I did to piss him off. And she was like, you rode. <laughs> I was like, and it was just, I mean, just getting that commentary on the test and like the TD and everybody being like, you handled that, you rode so well through that test. Like you weren't aggressive, like you were just there. And he had his moments and then once he had his moment, then he was like, oh crap, I can't get away with that, you know? Not that he was like trying to get away with something, but like my expectation of how to ride that test, I held him to that expectation, but I also tried to make him a little bit more round and a little bit softer in this test 
which could be just a, a, a lack of him needing muscle. I mean, I, um, I know it's a lack of him needing muscle, um, but I didn't punish, you know, I didn't punish him for any of it. I just sat up and rode and just ignored everything that happened. Um, so it just, it was just such a good, it was just such a good learning test. It was so good. Like, I feel like everything Debbie's been telling me for the past two years has finally, three years, has finally, like, made babies in my head, and now they're, like, passing adolescence and, like, learning what real life is. <laughs> that's how, that's how I feel. So, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.